What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dina and we're in the garden today. Got a special video for you guys. It's a fall garden video. I'm going to show you a little bit of what we have growing on right now. And then in this bed right here, we just planted some onions and garlic. They're starting to come up. I'll give you a closer shot. But we just pulled some sweet potatoes out of this bed a couple weeks ago and I'm going to show you the footage from that. I'm super excited because sweet potatoes is one of my favorite things to eat, grow, and harvest. So I'm going to include that clip later on. And this is actually the same plot in my how to grow sweet potatoes video where I planted those very same potato slips. So you guys get to see from start to finish those same potatoes and Willie actually is helping me harvest in that video so he was there to plant them and there to harvest them which I think was very cool he was a good little helper I've still got peanuts on each end right here and I'm about to show you some cabbage we've got some eggplants going we've got a lot of greens carrots root veg those are all crops that thrive in cooler weather so going into the fall and even into the winter a lot of these plants will overwinter such as kale cabbage broccoli cauliflower let's take a look down here my asparagus plant is still hanging in there i just got this plant established this year so hopefully next year i'll get some uh, nice asparagus spears i've got some little wannabe asparagus right here and then another one down here Klaus wants to say hello hello Klaus <laughs> so this is the sweet potato bed that you saw in my how to grow sweet potatoes video and we've already got some onions and garlic coming up from this bed when you plant and harvest sweet potatoes it naturally tills the soil so it gives it the perfect condition for other root crop such as these so I'm very excited about those. This peanut plant has been growing. Yesterday we had some blooms. You can see they're starting to wilt off, but they have these pretty yellow flowers. It's this is a red peanut plant. And then I also have one down at the end of the bed over here. Hey, Will. Willie's got his Halloween bat. Hey, hey, hey. Let's get out of the bed. Come on, come on. Got all the doggies out here, a little Nori. Nori recently had spinal surgery a couple months ago and she is doing great. Willie, get out of the bed. Our okra plants still putting off plenty of okra. These right here are taller, taller than me. In my Grand Garden Tour video, these plants were just little babies. And as you can see, they've turned into trees. Look at these stalks. In my pick and okra video, I showed a little bit of my other plants and how thick the stalks were, but these are pretty diesel too. Look at Willie over there chilling. Over here, it took so long for my eggplant plants to start thriving but check it out we've got a nice looking eggplant right here that i am planning to cook soon look at that sheen that is so beautiful so i'm real happy that my eggplants have finally started growing still got some pepper plants our tomato plants are still hanging in there we're probably gonna pull them in a few weeks but we're just letting them grow. The taste isn't quite the same as during the summer, but uh, the dogs still love to eat them. So we've been harvesting cherry tomatoes for the dogs mainly, and uh, sometimes I'll still eat them too. And we do still get some slicers that look awesome. And uh, we've got a lot ripening on the table still. So tomato season is coming to a close end, but we're, we've still got some growing. Check out this cabbage right here. This is a Napa cabbage. It's looking beautiful. Pretty excited. And we've also got some Swiss chard. 
growing down here. Got the red variety, red stock, and then some regular green, like right here. This stuff is so beautiful. Now I've been coming out every day to pick off worms off of the greens, especially the broccoli, the cauliflower, kale, not, not so much uh, the Napa cabbage, but the regular cabbage is these tiny green worms that hatch almost daily. The first time I ran through, I picked off many worms and then every day it's lessened. So that is some true organic gardening for you is uh, having your hands on the plants every day, not spraying pesticides or any kind of, we don't even spray organic chemicals or anything like that. We just uh, are very hands-on in the garden and pick off those bugs when we can. And we have had a few plants that we've lost to the worms. They just got to them real early on. This one, some of the worms got to this one, but um, this one still might make it though. We've had just a couple that have been worse than this. And what I do is I flip over the leaves, like every leaf and you'll see like a lime green baby worm if there is one. And they even like to hide in the middle right here on those tender, nutritious baby leaves. This is some kale, by the way. This is one of my favorite blue kale varieties. And as long as you stay on them, you kind of wipe out the population if you stay on these plants. And then once they get to a certain size, they'll really start to thrive. So we've got some baby greens just planted along here. I believe this might be some collards. But yeah, I, like I said, I come out and check them every day. Let's move into here. Some more ochre plants. And these were the ones that I direct sowed back in June. And as you can see, you can plant them pretty close together. These are about a foot apart and they're doing pretty well. We're still getting okra every single day. Here's a little eggplant. This is one of the smaller variety eggplants. Some purple cabbage, some more Napa. I love the color of the purple cabbage and it's so much easier to see the worms on these because like I said, they're lime green and uh, they really stand out against this purple cabbage. That is just so beautiful. And what else? I was gonna say something right then. Oh, okay. Sometimes you can see the eggs that the worms hatch out of as well. And I'll just knock those off before they even have a chance to start munching on the plant. This one's in really good shape. We did try to succession plant some cucumbers and they don't do as well as in the summer, of course, but we have had them grow. So we'll see how, how many cucumbers. I've had like two good ones since cooler weather has started. But yeah, these are little baby greens and I can't wait until they grow bigger. Here's some tomatoes that are still going. Let's move into here. This is a yellow and raspberry plant that I just established this year. And we actually had two small harvests from it. One shortly after I planted it and then I ate some raspberries off of this thing last week. And uh, here's some baby ones, let me show you. Yeah, and they turn like a yellowish pink and they taste like pink lemonade. And these are thorned, so you do have to be careful. My other raspberries are thornless, which is awesome. Oh, here we go. Here's one right here. It's ready to eat. So this is a yellow and raspberry. Man, these things are so good. And look how they just pull right off the plant. That is so awesome. Super excited to have these in the garden. I just want to get more and more fruit in the garden because I'm a fruit head. I love to eat fruit all the time. It's one of my favorite snacks as I don't eat any candy or anything like that anymore. Let's try it out. That's so much better than candy. That's like starburst in a fruit. 
see we got a couple we got one more that's ripe right here and they're just so pretty the color on these man yeah? mmm so good here if I'm not mistaken this is my lemon balm plant that has gone nuts I'll have to uh, prune that do some research I don't want it to take over the garden too much here we have some tomatoes still growing Klaus Klaus loves tomatoes And they, they eat a lot of the cherry tomatoes that have fallen on the ground. Got some more greens right here. And pepper plants. Look at this beautiful green pepper right here. That is awesome. I'm gonna have to eat that soon. Got some flowers up here forming and there's another pepper right here. It's looking good pretty prolific pepper plant but that is so exciting some more swiss chard the baby greens this guy right here just having a good time with his toy here's a tomato plant that we have in a tomato cage still putting off some slicers what you guys think <laughs> having a good time it's a beautiful day here in North Carolina, Zone 7B. Here's another one of my eggplants. Beautiful purple flowers. And it puts off these eggplants. We harvest them when they're, actually this small even, we'll harvest them. Pretty prolific. This is a broccoli if I'm not mistaken. It could be a cauliflower rum pretty positive it's a broccoli here's like some tomatoes that are still ripening up this is our tomato rows we had three rows of trellis tomatoes as you can see here's some cherries that are still ripening up those sun golds at a low mm. but as the tomatoes are going to be dying off as it gets colder we've utilized the bottom of the rows to plant some more greens. As you can see right here, we've got some cabbage. This is actually a flowering carrot plant. It takes a couple years, but we're gonna save the seeds from this. So over here in the rows on the bottom, as you can see, we planted some more cabbage and broccoli. And so once we take these tomato plants down, it's going to be some gorgeous rows of those greens as they get bigger and bigger. There we go. You can see all of our tomato plants that have climbed the trellis right here. And like I said, we still get a few. We're still getting tomatoes. Devo likes to pick them up off the ground and eat them. Devo, you want one? Didi, good girl. They love tomatoes. This is some really good looking broccoli, cabbage, some uh, Asian greens right there, some green cabbage and purple cabbage. Just got them all down this row. This was just an experiment. I planted some succulents when they were little babies down here. We got some aloe and other succulents and man they love this little box right here i i am not counting on overwintering these succulents but they have done great look at this aloe i mean it was just a tiny tiny little baby when we planted it and it is thriving right here but i've enjoyed this little succulent box in the garden in our raised beds my tribes are still going finally had a turmeric come up and then some carrots The hibiscus, still going strong. This huge plant right here, the star of our garden. We've got some nice elephant ears beneath it. Beautiful. Some more baby carrots down here growing. This is a sweet potato bed I have not pulled yet. There's actually a tomato plant right there in the middle. But the sweet potato greens are such good cover crop. Got some more over here. 
Sorry about the shadow, guys. So we did pull this sweet potato bed up. As you can see, we just cut the greens so that we could get clearance around it. And we planted some carrots in here. And these carrots are doing super well. It's like they all came up. These are uh, seed from Baker Creek. So I'm super excited about this carrot bed. Over here, we've got a lot of sweet cherry peppers that I need to harvest, but I wanted to let you guys see how they start off green and then they turn red, this nice bold red color. And you just use them as you would like a bell pepper. They're just a lot smaller, just scoop the seeds out. And actually, if you just cut the top off, you can just scoop that seed ball right out. And I just throw them in uh, lots of different meals. They're really good. At least trying to harvest some tomatoes in here. You got some good ones down there? Huh? These, we usually stake or tie up our tomatoes and I honestly just got slack with these, but you know, you can still harvest tomatoes from uh, plants that aren't staked up. It's just not as pretty. That's a little bit of what we have growing on right now, going into the fall and into the winter. I hope to keep you guys updated. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I've just been taking it one day at a time and just counting my blessings. I live a very blessed life, so just trying to remember that each day and be grateful because if you have gratitude in your heart, there's not room for those other negative vibes and emotions. So stay grateful and it's a lot easier to keep the peace that way. Well, it's about time for me to put in that sweet potato harvest video. I hope you enjoy it. I am gonna be harvesting the rest of my sweet potatoes in the raised beds very soon. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to catch those videos and that footage.
guys so much for watching. Please share this video with somebody who might find it useful or entertaining. Thank you to all my subscribers and any of my new subscribers. You can always find me on Instagram. I'll put my handle down here. And that's where you can message me. I do keep my comments turned off on YouTube. But feel free to reach out. And until next time, keep growing.